Hey everybody, I uh, just want to let you know that I was in this week to see a specialist um, after Mimi uh, was diagnosed with Alzheimer's and knowing that, uh, not, stop panicking in case you're worrying, I don't have Alzheimer's, uh, but because that is something that is hereditary. Um, and now she had a one sister that passed away from it a couple months ago. She's got another one at the tail end of hers. I'm surprised she's still hanging on. Um, and I've been having problems with memory, which I tried telling dad that a lot of it is when I'm having a bad pain day or an increased pain day, that uh, being able to put two words together in a sentence or I forget words or stuff like that. Plus, I'm 65 years old, that happens. I mean, I've heard you guys all tell me something that you guys had already told me. But anyways, um, that's beside the point. So I had an extensive uh, voice meeting with uh, somebody from the Alzheimer's Society last summer COVID takes forever. Finally, and then he sent me for an MRI on my brain. Finally got back in to see the spe a different specialist for the results and what they were gonna do uh, just a couple of days ago. And he said they took an MRI from 13 years ago when I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Because after you're diagnosed with cancer, they do a full body MRI to make sure it's not metastasized someplace else. So they compared my brain from then, 13 years ago to today, and he says there's zero difference. Um, and he says, actually, uh, that is not even something you need to worry about right now. He says there was zero loss of brain matter. And I could just feel dad wanting to snuggle, his snicker at the back there. Um, but he says there's no brain matter loss at all. And he says all the tests that we did today was all cognitive uh, tests, you know, tell me this, tell me that. Three hours later, ask me a question. Uh, and I had to give him the answer that they gave me three hours before. And he said everything was absolutely perfect. He says, I, we never see that in somebody in their mid-60s. It's usually, you can see start of, you know, decompressing and stuff like that. He says, you only made one thing that you couldn't remember a word. But as soon as I said, it's a color, right away you remembered that it was, the word was red. So um, that's where that's sitting. He wants me to go and do aerobic workout, like walking for 45 minutes, three times a day, already do that. Um, and then uh, follow more a Mediterranean style menu, not red meat, which I don't eat meat to begin with. And, um, you know, and stuff and different things like that that he wants me to do. And um, and then with the migraines that, of course, when you got a migraine, that makes it even worse to try and put thoughts together. And, and so he's hoping that with the advanced pain clinic that i am got a, my second appointment with them in a couple weeks, that that's going to help make it come up with a treatment plan. So there we are. I do not have that Alzheimer's. My brain's still all there. It's so full of stuff. There's no way I could ever lose brain matter. I just gotta remember what file folder it's in. Alrighty, love you guys. Take care, bye-bye.